1 Peter 5 and 1. This is the amplified version. Um, the subtitle, or the title, should I say, on this particular passage is Serve God Willingly. And it says, Therefore, I strongly urge the elders among you, pastors, spiritual leaders of the church, as a fellow elder and as an eyewitness called to testify of the sufferings of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory that is to be revealed, shepherd and guide and protect the flock of God among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily according to the will of God and not motivated for shameful gain, but with wholehearted enthusiasm, not lording it over those assigned to your care. Don't be arrogant or overbearing, but be examples of Christian living to the flock. Set a pattern of integrity for your congregation. And when the chief shepherd, Christ, appears, you will receive the conqueror's unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you younger men of lesser rank and experience, be subject to your elders, seek their counsel, and all of you clothe yourself with humility toward one another. Tie on the servant's apron, for God is opposed to the proud, the disdainful, the presumptuous, and he defeats them, but he gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time. Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him, for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. But resist him. Be firm in your faith against his attack, rooted, established, immovable, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. You do not suffer alone. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own inter eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. To him be dominion, power, authority, sovereignty forever and ever. Amen.